Hi right guys, Mark Crossfield here. I've played today in my only competitive round this year in the Exeter Pro-Am. I had my game golf device on. Uh, I've downloaded my round. We're going to talk a bit over a, a bit about my round. We're also going to talk a bit about how this device is still, I think, helping me. So I've come home, plugged it into my computer, downloaded the round. Let's talk you through it. Let's get stuck in. Right guys, game golf. So this little device, just tagging the ends of my club to this device when I play, tells this device what club I'm hitting. It's a GPS unit for any of you who haven't seen the review and it tells me where I am on the course. It's plotting my way around the golf course, giving me these kind of stats. So this is my round. This is a video just to show you A, how I'm still using the device and loving it. Also B, to answer a few questions that people are firing at me from the original review. Um, so I've come home and I've actually signed this round. So what that means, I can't now manipulate any of the data. So all the stats that you see at the bottom here, all the holes, if we go through the holes, we can see how I'm playing each hole here. So there's the sick for par three. Um, they're now fixed, they're signed, it can't be manipulated. Now when I got home from the round, I had some issues with my round. So one thing being 17 here which I played and I didn't do particularly well. What happened is this second shot, which was a four iron, I had tagged my five wood. But what happened just before I played the hole, I um, had had my five wood in my hand. I was gonna hit a five wood and I tagged it. And then I was umming and ah in and I wanted to kind of get on with it. So I changed to a four iron and just hit the shot. Didn't tag. So when I got home, it said a five wood. I was thinking I didn't hit a five wood. No, I hit four iron. So I had to go back. And the reason I remember is when we get to the hole, you'll see I had a bit of a cave on it. Um, I, I could, with the unsigned round originally, I could just move that. I could change the club into what club it was. Another example here, the first, it said it, uh, it had it as a fairway hit, where actually I missed the fairway on this hole. So I could tell the system that I didn't hit the fairway. It thought I had hit the fairway. I was like off the fairway by less than a yard. Um, so you can just fine tune all the data which you've collected. And the majority, I, mean, I would say about 5% of it was out through me tagging at the wrong time, tagging the wrong club. It's saying I've hit a fairway when I've not. It's saying I've hit a green when I'm like two inches off, these kind of things. Um, so it allows you to get those stats exactly how you want them to be true to your round. Another thing it allows you to do, um, if we go to 14 here, you can see I've added a penalty shot. I hit a tee shot and I lost my tee shot, couldn't find it. So what happened is I went back and hit another one, which we'll talk about in a second. So you can see I added the penalty shots, which was another question that people were asking me about. So let's look a little bit of my round here. We're just going to start on the first. I ain't going to go hole by hole. I ain't going to bore you to death. But I'm going to show you how the data has really helped me understand my game a lot more and when I can attack holes and not and what club I should be attacking with them or not for um, all from the data. Rather than just taking my... I've got my yardages on my clubs from my static flat hit using my GC2. But to give you some examples here, three wood off the tee on the first, short par four, just pushed it up the right, 227, pitched it on with a get wedge, two putts, nice par to start. Um, now that three wood went 227, hit a three wood on the second, uh, slightly different hole the way I saw it, hit it a little harder, I got 241, so I've hit my three wood a bit further on the second. Uh, first hole definitely just patting it into play, second hole I did want to make sure I flew this bunker so I gave it a bit more. Uh, missed the green with my 9-iron, which was disappointing, and then had a sand save up and down. So a sand save here, a sand wedge, and then a putt, so an up and down. Uh, so you can see here on the bottom, one putt, sand save tick, fairway hit, yes, hit the fairway, four shots, par four on the second hole. So it's giving me all my stats here at the bottom. Now this is another interesting point, which I thought I could do, and it's just confirming it for me. The third hole, par five. What happened here is the fairway, we're slightly raised T and the fairway slopes from right to left. I hit a drawing three wood off these bunkers and got my three wood out there almost 300 yards. Then I had 200 and say, I think 200 yards to the flag. I flew all about 207 yards to the flag. I was, flew my five wood pin high and just ran onto the kind of middle back of the green, two putts birdie. So I'm now one under at this point of my round. 
Um, it's just very interesting to see the contrast in the free wood distance when I'm seeing the shot different and using the slopes differently. And I think that's something that's really helping me understand my game so much more in depth of when I'm attacking what I can get out of a free wood compared to when I'm just defending and trying to plod onto the fairway, the difference in the distances. Um, we flick forward, I par, a simple par three, should have birdied it. Here we go, block drive on the fifth, I just blocked it. First time I'd hit my driver, I didn't really feel comfortable, it's a tough driving hole. I was trying to land it here, but I started it right, didn't turn it back and it stayed there, just blocked, I think it caught up in these trees and kicked out almost onto the other fairway. Hacked a seven iron out up the hill, didn't really get a good contact on it, pushed it, caught up in the trees, pitching a putt. So you can see another scramble here, no fairway allocation. I got my par on the fifth hole, par four with a one putt. Um, then if we go on to the par three, hit a good iron in there, make the putt. Next hole I had another scramble, just missed the green on the left after my drive just ended up under a tree because I picked the wrong line, unfortunately, on for T. Eighth conventional. Green in regulation, fairway allocation, two putt par. Ninth, I played well again, two putt green in regulation, fairway hit. Got my five wood going out there, two, four, one. Again, the slope here on the ninth hole um, is heavy right to left, or left to right as we look. We're hitting from this tee up here, look, ninth there. Um, and I've got a drawing on this slope, so I've got my five wood out there, two, four, one. Again, that's further than some of the three woods I hit. Now I into about 10 foot, two putts. Uh, there we go through to 11, this was a highlight. Look at this one, 217 when my three would hit this three would really well. Quite steep uphill, very narrow fairway. Uh, so again, I was just kind of prodding it into the fairway. Pitched it into about six foot, hold the putt. I am now two under after 11 holes and I am feeling good about my round. Super par three par. Should have birdied this hole, got pin eye with my drive. Driver went 253, so that's shorter than some of my three woods. I would say this hole's level to slightly uphill. I just kind of didn't quite get the shape off the trees and lot missed it on the right side, but in a good place. Didn't up and down it. Um, I was literally off the green here with this nine iron by like three foot. I could have putted it, but I just chipped it with nine iron. So it's calling it a scramble. I would be very disappointed if I didn't scramble this one. And then the wheels fell off. Two under at this point through 13. Lost ball on the right with my driver. Just couldn't find it. Shock. Didn't even play a provisional because we think we thought we would find it, to be honest. Caught up in these trees on the right of the green here. Tee back in this corner. Um, didn't find it. Walk back, hit free wood. Now look how short my free wood is. 184. I clattered into these trees. It spat it out. Pitched. Hold the putt. Um, didn't hit the fairway, they didn't call it a scramble because it was a pitch and a putt. Made a five stop, one under at this point. Um, if we go to the 15th, five wood, two, two, nine, slightly downhill, pushed it, left a lot into this right out, very tough. I wanted to hit three wood, but I was scared I was going to hit this run out here and go out of bounds. And bear in mind my three wood earlier on went nearly 300 yards. This was about 270 to here, I would have hit the same three wood I'd have gone out of bounds. So the five wood was the right play, I just pushed it uh, and then didn't up and down. So I hit a good four iron, it just landed soft on the front of the green and didn't really release. So then I had a little pitch on, um, big long green pin at the back, which is why you're seeing 44 yards there, but it was only like five yards, 10 yards off the green. Two putt bogey, level par at this stage. You can see him pitch on the back, putt, putt. Um, 16 par three, hit a great shot in there, didn't hold the putt. 17 had a nightmare, <laughs> um, just blew out on 17, hit the wrong club off the tee, had too much in from a very ball above my feet hanging light, which I then pulled here into the left rubbish, had no shot, left handed chip went four yards, next chip went back of the green, next chip just went down to about seven foot below the hole, hold the putt for a six, one putted six, I'm now two over. So you can see all that time, 16, 17 holes almost played, level par and under, and then just blew it all in the last few, which was disappointing. And then again, this is where I had to add a penalty shot. We lost the ball up the right of 18, and I shocked, I lost it. We saw it bounce, but then just got up there, couldn't find it. Very angry with my second drive, so I just caned it, 305, hit a great drive. Front middle of the green, two putts, net a birdie with my second ball bogey to finish, three over. 
So if we go into the analytics, guys, you can see here if we go to last round, that's all rounds. So it's interesting here as well. 265 average, 292 longest drive, all my rounds with a driver. Anyone who watches my course reviews, um, I carry it about 260, 270 on a really good one. So that's getting up into these ones and I can carry it down at 250, which is these ones. So people have said their game golf systems haven't been that accurate. I'm not finding that at all. I'm finding it really accurate. And I know my yardages on each hole. I can remember what I had into green. So if it is out in any way, which I haven't found it to be, I would always just move it back if I had to. I'm finding it really good. I, I, I'm finding it surprising that people are saying it's not accurate. Uh, we go all rounds. We go last round on my approach shots within 100 yards, 100% within 15 yards, which is good. Outside 100 yards. Uh, and then you can go last rounds and all rounds. Um, as well for this and you can go all eye types tee box fairway bunkers so you can see what you're doing here how your iron shots from outside 100 yards from the fairway or x y so you can really see your stats down to a very fine t um if we go back to the beginning here what we'll see is my three rounds i've posted one of them was only actually two holes averaging 74.6 which isn't low enough mcdowell 69 uh, Westwood 67 class, Furyk 71. I wouldn't mind being three behind Furyk in every round I play. Um, but you can see how the stats are running here. Again, so if I go into my round here, this is something else which I quite like. I think it shows it quite well. If we go into the um, summary, you can see here I was two under and then the big cave at the end. Gives you a nice little summary. You can go into the scorecard as well and just look at the scorecards. This is online, guys, at Game Golf. You can go and find me, Mark Crossfield, I think my username is, or Ask Golf Guru. I can't remember what I'm on here as, actually. Try searching both. People are convers uh, adding conversations in there already. Um, go and look at my round. I'm loving Game Golf. They don't pay me. Some people are commenting about endorsements. I wish they did pay me. Uh, I'm just loving the device. I'm loving the information it's given me. And I'm looking forward to building up plenty of stats over the coming uh, years and months. Um, just gives you, a way how the uh, gives you an idea of how the interface works. Now I'm using it in competition. Lots of people are saying you should use a phone. Can't use my phone. It's got weather and GPS on it. I can't use my phone in competition. I had to use this device playing in a competition. That's where it has massive advantages over things like phone apps as well. Um, let me know what you think, guys. Post comments down below. There is my imploded pro am round. Thanks for all the comments on Facebook and Twitter. People wishing me well. Should have done well today. I felt good today. Um, that just. Uh, didn't quite go to plan in the end, as you can see. Go and check the round out on Game Golf. Thanks for watching, guys. So, if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also, thumbs up the video, post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So, if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.